Hello, I'm here with the Reverend Dr. Jeffrey Cloa, uh, and he's new here at Holy Trinity and around here uh, in Oklahoma. And so this is sort of just a get to know you time for you to know who he is. You know me, Pastor Meyer, and now it's time to get to know uh, Jeff Cloa. So, uh, Dr. Cloa, where have you been all our life? <laughs> all your life? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I. Uh, uh... Actually, I've known Pastor Meyer for a while. He was a student at Concordia Seminary. Uh, previously, I had taught at Concordia Seminary uh, for 18 years in New Testament. Uh, the last few years also as provost. I uh, had John as a student about, what, three years ago he graduated? Uh, 2014, yes, yeah, so a little over three, three years, years ago. Yeah, okay. he, he passed. It's all yeah, good. So. <laughs> um, uh, recently, just in the last few months, accepted a position uh, as director of collections operations with Museum of the Bible. Uh, you might have heard we opened a big museum yeah. in, in Washington, D.C. a few days ago. It's a big deal. And uh, the headquarters are here in Oklahoma City, uh, along with most of the collection. So, so I oversee the manuscripts and artifacts, the curators, the registrars, and, and the staff here in Oklahoma City. All right, so that's a lot. So um, so really, these uh, collections, you said, is, is your main right. focus. Correct. So then really these ancient documents, do you get to work with them a lot? or uh, Well, uh, eventually, uh, opening the museum has been a big push, uh, getting sure. everything organized. And, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a big reason I came was my, my research area and is in New Testament uh, manuscripts and uh, close reading of the Greek and Latin. So, mm -hmm. so it's really a strong interest of mine. Yeah. So you mentioned you were at the seminary for 18 years or so uh, teaching right, as, as professor. Yeah. Um, before that, you were a pastor, and where, where Correct, were you? Correct, yeah, uh, six years I was a pastor in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, uh, okay. Nice congregation there, yeah. uh, uh, and, uh, and then went from there to the seminary. Okay, very good. Um, so, working with the Museum of the Bible, and that's a, a wonderful thing. I'm sure there are a lot of people that will have um, various questions about that. Um, what are you most excited for in working with Museum of the Bible? Um, you know, I think really what, what got me excited about uh, uh, the opportunity to serve there is, um, you know, the, the goal is to engage all people with the Bible. Mm -hmm. So in a context in, in America in the 21st century where so many people uh, don't know anything about the Bible, yeah. uh, or maybe have heard something but not the full story, perhaps don't even realize what kind of impact it's had mm -hmm. on, on our country, on the world, uh, to be able to just present it to uh, to help people understand uh, what it is, uh, how it came about, um, again, what impact it's had, and and hopefully encourage them to to take a closer look. Yeah. So it's a, the goal is really to just uh, get the Bible uh, and its message into the conversation. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. Um, well, uh, you've been here for a few months now, and we're just like we do with any new member, just throwing you right in and getting you involved. Uh, so you'll be leading a Bible study starting uh, this Sunday, right. um, November 26th, and uh, it's during our 9.30 hour, our adult Sunday school hour. And so what will you be teaching us? Well, uh, I'll start with the book of Philippians. Um, I taught Bible study for a number of years at St. Paul's in De Pere, Missouri, where I was a member before. And, uh, so I've done it before. So <laughs> it's not his first time. He's but, not a rookie. Uh, so. Yeah, it's it's. I really like the Book of Philippians. It's it's relatively short, uh, four chapters, uh, but it's it's one of Paul's, the Apostle Paul's most uh, kind of positive books. Mm -hmm. he, he focuses on uh, you know joy is a strong yeah. theme, uh, unity is a strong theme, the the gospel focus, uh, hope is a strong theme. But also woven in there is the reality uh, of, uh, of the church in Philippi at that time and the suffering and persecution they were facing. Yeah. So to, uh, to hear uh, how uh, that gospel message impacts us, mm -hmm. uh, impacted the church and us today uh, as we face, you know, really not dissimilar circumstances. Sure. Uh, life is not always easy. Uh, uh, our culture is not always friendly to the gospel, yeah. uh, but but Paul's encouragement to uh, to shine forth as lights in the world uh, is still the same for us today. Well, that's great. Well, uh, thank you for your willingness to to be here for this and this little get to know you conversation. And uh, join us, join Pastor or Dr. Chloe. This is a pastor. Yeah, Jeff Doctor, is fine too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> join Dr. Chloe on Sundays at nine thirty here at Holy Trinity for a look at Philippians.